everybody. As usual, I'm still fudging with technology. Um, hi, happy Tup Talk. Hi. hi. And I got the, I got the bubbles, bubbles on. You forgot to remind me. And I got the bubbles. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I'm, one of these days, you guys, I'm going to have this like just going and you're all not going to know what to do. Because <laughs> um, I'll have gotten it right. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's Tuesday year. and we're back to our normal um, time. Because last week we started at 3.30 for Kathy DeBorna. She's, she's worth it. She's special. She's worth it. She is lady. worth. She is worth it. You do know her. <laughs> so everybody, uh, this is my friend Jen Winters. Hi. Um, Jen is a like everybody in the tub. She's a multi-hyphenate individual. But I thought she'd be fun to talk to because she does a few things that we haven't really touched on in the tub. Uh, yeah. Touched on in the tub. Touched on in the tub. I love dad jokes. So Jen, yeah, she, <laughs> you like good jokes because like you're jokes. a comedian, yeah, that's right. which is one of the things we're going to talk about. But um, Jen and I met through Mary Jane Wells, which a lot of you guys know, who a lot of you guys know, and uh, we've known each other now eight years. And we actually met because uh, we were looking for a masseuse, or I'm sorry, a massage therapist, I think that's how it's Thank you. said these Thank days. You. We're looking for a massage therapist because Bob was still working at Reuter and his, he was needed it everybody, everybody, needs, everybody it. needs it and and we found Jen and then over the course of time we just became friends mm -hmm. yeah and it's been fun um, but I think it, I do think it's interesting that whole like I sometimes think you know <laughs> what 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 are you thinking when you <laughs> when you're giving a massage like I'm not uh, thinking I'm completely Zen Nothing going through my mind. No, that's so not true. <laughs> we we do these like parties where I'll have some girlfriends over and uh, I love it. Days. yeah, and then we like have pick food and you know, and then afterwards Jen hangs out and we all yap for hours. But um, but it's, that's an exception. I do. I'm usually very like clean about my clients. Like it's usually it's, oh really yeah oh, it's I only after that. time that it sort of yeah blends. okay. Well, well, with really cool, really cool people. And it's been eight but, years. But talk to me. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's been eight years. Uh, so anyway, so I, you know, I do sometimes think about that because, you know, you don't really necessarily always get to, you pick who you, but you do pick who you. Yeah, I do. I'm just word of mouth. Yeah. Pretty much only. Or, yeah. And now. And now welcome. all of you. Yes. Um, but, uh, but. But still, I mean, there's like days, like sometimes I'll be like, oh, Jen, I forgot to shave. <laughs> I'm really sorry. She's like, uh. And I know sometimes like my heels are like really rough. Oh my gosh. I anyway. never care about that stuff. It's so silly. But, uh, oh, your Should low I, battery just I know. went off. I yeah. need to touch it. Uh, just uh, hit the close. Close. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Hi. We'll, it'll, be, it'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I thought it was interesting too because I. Did, I did think about trying to work you into Crazy Bitches season two, mm -hmm. because you guys know I like to hire my friends, and, and then I'm I, a crazy I, bitch, and you are a crazy <laughs> bitch, and then I like to use what they do, so like I usually incorporate it. But Kathy took, because I had you know putting Kathy back in the show, and her one of her other skills among many is that she's also a oh. massage therapist. I'm gonna find all about that on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah. got uh, she's got some pretty <laughs> sexy scenes. Oh, well. one in particular that she is. Hi, Fiona, <laughs> and who? Jean and Janet. Hi, you guys. Um, so, uh, so anyway, I was like, oh, well, Kathy's a massage therapist. Like, I can't have two. But season three. Yeah. Season three. I think I'll need a new one. Okay. Did you hear that? Kathy? You know, I don't know what's happening with Kathy. <laughs> she's up at the ranch, and we're going to be down in the. Oh. We're gonna be down in the the soap opera set. On oh. the soap opera set. So we'll see. We'll okay. see. Well, I'm gonna try. I'll, I won't plan on that. I mean, no. I'm an LA person. I get. Uh, no, 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 no. I love that. That'd yeah. be fun. I could even just be like a bellhop. I'd be like, your food, man. A bellhop in the, on the soap opera set. <laughs> You'd be a runner. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like a, just well, running I'll just Hollywood see you running in and out. Out. That'd be funny. That'd be a funny gag, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'll be the, what is that, yeah. Canadian cross in the background? Yeah. 
No, I'm gonna find some. But you know, I mean, it is hard. It was one of the benefits, I think, of knowing people who are able to hire or yeah. write for you or something is because it's hard to get jobs. Yeah. And, and you are a very tall lady. Oh yeah, I'm tall. And Kathy's tall too, right? Yes, Kathy yeah, is tall. six one. See, you're just <laughs> you're just competing there all over the place. Uh, that's fine. No, I get it. Kathy's great. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I yeah. love Kathy. But yeah, but I mean, yeah. and but you know, Kathy is actually she's on a different track, and so her height doesn't really come into play. But yeah. you're you're auditioning and you're still working because she's also an actor, yes. and so you're you're working toward you're still working toward making that happen. Yeah. I like working. I do. I usually often do commercials, and often I'm the mom or the wife, and it's the, the hair. dad is never. <laughs> it's, it's the, the hair haircut. Yeah. Commercial mom hair. hair. The, yeah. Commercial Don't hair. Don't tell anybody the tricks. Mom hair. Um, but I, it's like I'm always partnered up with, you know, like even for like a callback or something. I'm like, can I get the tall guy? Because yeah. I never used to do that. I'm like, they they have imaginations. They can figure it out. Story. Yeah, and no, then I'm like, mm, actually, not gotta... everybody can figure that out. So, but it, it's fine. I mean, I've had shorter husbands. Had yeah, I've been opposite a woman who had to stand on like two apple boxes, and she was still much shorter than me. <laughs> <laughs> and the the costume, the the wardrobe lady was like, "Why did you have to pick the tallest lady and the shortest lady?" And the, the yeah, I'm sure the DP wasn't thrilled yeah, either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the, but the director was like, "They're all, you know, they all knew each other." And he's like. I just chose the best. The best. Good. And you are. You are the best. <laughs> I just think, it, you know, that the world just, this industry just, you know, there's rules and there's norms and it's like either going to be a real advantage that you're outside the norm yeah. or... Well, there are a lot of taller not. female actors out there lately. Really? Yeah. Well, I shouldn't and say I, really like that because everybody I hire... There really are. Tall. More. More and more. And I should know the names of them, but um, one of them was the lawyer on Ozark. She's very tall. Uh, uh, not the lawyer, but that's, the. Um, she's awesome. Yeah, the bad, the bad lady. The bad lady. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I could. Yeah. Yeah. She, um, I don't have Google. Google right now. Oh well. You're that's great. right. There are a lot of. And you know, it's funny because when you see pictures of me with my cast from either season, I'm. Like it's like it goes along like this, and then it goes down to me, and then it goes back <laughs> That's up. That's unusual. Every... That's unusual. Yeah. Usually, you would be kind of the, the no. average height of a cast. I must. I don't know. Subconsciously, I don't know why I end up with really tall people, but I do. Everybody is super tall. The guys and them. the girls. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And then uh, when we were doing the premiere of Crazy Bitches at the Ford, I was, you know, because John, oh, yeah. my friend John, I, was, was like, you have to wear heels, Jane, because, you know, yeah. that's the reason you're so short with everybody, because you have to wear heels. <laughs> But everybody else wore heels too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it didn't That's matter. Funny. Like I, I mean, maybe like, I evened it out a little bit. Can you imagine if you showed up without heels on? Them? I know. That, that would be would really. Be bad. Yeah. It's it's kinda kinda like, I would look stupid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like when my grandma, like when I was a kid, she's like, "Eat your carrots because if you eat your carrots, you can have great vision." And then, like the word, like I had braces and glasses in the third grade, and my glasses have just gotten Aww. thicker. Like. Thanks to technology, not technically thicker, but you know, I like have really bad vision. She goes, "Well, just think how bad your vision would have been if you didn't eat those carrots." And I was like, "Oh, thanks, yeah. thanks, Grandma." Yeah, I think Grandma was <laughs> lying, is what I think. But um, she's quick. She's yeah. quick. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> well, um, this kind of makes me think about yes. your stand-up because you are funny. Oh, oh, oh thank you. Actually, thank when you. she's massaging, she'll do little like. <laughs> Little bits. Little bits. Like, how would you think about this one, Jane? <laughs> <laughs> just want to hear you dozing off. I just want to kick in <laughs> No, but we did go to see. So, so Jen did a stand up. It was, it was a, part of a showcase or something? Yeah, that was. But the last one you came to was that I was uh, um, hosting it. Oh, right, or, you were yeah. the MC, yeah. Yeah. right? That's what you think. It was, it was very funny. Yeah. And I always think, how scary that must be. It is kind of scary. But it's so fun. It's like, once you, I mean, it can be terrifying, but if you're just like, if it, you're bombing, then you're just like, wow, this, I'm going to never forget this night. And then, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then if you do well, you're like, I'm going to come uh, back, and I want to do that again. Yeah. So it's, it's fun. 
It's like life. It's a roller coaster. You, you win some, and you lose some. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess that's true. It's not that different in some ways from stage acting. Because your memory, you still have to memory, memorize your jokes. It's not well, like that's you're... the problem because I'm, I'm, I'm have an improv background, so I, it's hard for me to tell the same jokes oh, right, in the yeah. same way over and over again. I want to like mix it up and yeah. throw in some stories, and you're not, you're not supposed to do that. I mean, I guess you can if you're, you know, if you're an old pro, but technically they're, they're like, don't do that. You should learn right. it, and the real people say the same thing over right. again, and they get fresh every time, and. Well, I think that's true because, you know, I just, from my limited, from doing theater, I realized that, you know, you kind of, you do it a few times in front of the audience, you start figuring out what hits with the audience yeah. and what doesn't hit with the audience. For sure. yeah. And so you don't want to, like, F with that if you're already definitely that's hitting, point. why yeah. change up yeah. because you'll just flop, yeah. you know? Or you'll soar. So I completely get that. <laughs> Melissa, is comedy harder than drama? Oh. Mm. I would say that's a really good question. Um, I haven't done a lot of drama lately, but I do enjoy it. I used to play like the evil person on stage really? was my favorite. Wow. It was always the bad guy. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if I would consider that drama. Like serious, intense, heavy, like crying drama, I feel like is... I mean, they say that if you do comedy, you can do anything, but I feel like that... That intense drama. I'm kind of a, like, like I get really excited, <laughs> and so it doesn't play out for like the dramatic roles as yeah. much. Yeah. Because I want to be like goofy and like I want to make people laugh. Yeah. And I usually do just like <laughs> walking past them. They're like they laugh, they laugh and they at look you. at me. Yeah. No. No, they do. They do. Well, that's because you're doing the funny things. They're like, you look like you're up to some trouble. I'm like, I'm trying to be. Yeah. You know, I actually think, like, comedy and drama, it depends on what your forte is. Yeah. You know? Because comedy is probably easier for you because it's the thing that you love and the thing you you do more often. Well, I enjoy it. I enjoy yeah. hearing laughter. Right. And when you do drama, right. it's just... Well, it's also harder to sense when you're, with, when, when you're on par with the audience and they're with you. Right. I mean, you can sense it, but it's not as overt as a yeah. laugh. Yeah. Um, I always did, like... Serio comedy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. se serious stuff that had humorous moments. Yes, I enjoy that very much. Which, yeah, yeah which I think is yeah. fun, but I think that is also probably the hardest to do because you walk, you have to walk a line, whereas if you're in drama, you're like, I know I'm in drama. Yeah. So you can kind of go fully into the angst of it all. Right. And if you're in comedy, you can stay high yes. on top of things. Yeah. But, but yeah, to to get in the middle is the hard When you blend part. it, you have the, that there's the danger of like making it a caricature of like... Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Or, either it looks like uh, you're making a joke of it or... But right. it's, it, that's a skill too. But I think everybody has the thing that they excel b best at. Yeah. And I also think like just from Crazy Bitches experience uh, and from the, all the theater I did, like I did Steel Magnolias was the last play I did uh, and I played Shelby and She's got some great lines. She's funny, but she's really angsty. How old were you when you really wanted to make people laugh? I was uh, probably, well, according to my mother, hi mom, if you're watching, I was two, like two and a half. Hi mom. Um, I would like, she'd have friends over and I'd go in and put like shaving cream all over my face and then come out and act like I was a clown or something. Like I loved, I, I was, I've been a ham forever. And then when the first time, I did a play and it was um, play on. It was like a play within a play. Yeah, yeah. And I got left alone on stage, and the audience and I was like doing this like these bits about this necklace who had, that had fallen on my shirt, and I was, you know, it was just me yeah. being me. You. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the audience just lost it. And yeah. I was like, This is oh, good. I want to do this forever. Yeah. Yeah. It was the best. Do you think growing up in a town called Walla Walla might have affected your sense of humor? Hey, Walla Walla. <laughs> I love I love saying the name. Jen's the only person I know that comes from Walla Walla. It's just Walla so, Walla Washington goes all the way. Walla Walla Washington. Walla Washington. Uh, maybe yeah. I mean, it was like yeah. when I grew. It's beautiful and fun, and there's a lot of things going on in there now. But when I was growing up, it was like wheat fields in the state penitentiary. So there was. Oh really? We did a lot of. It was a lot of goofing around and being silly. So possibly. Yeah. I did go up there for a conference. You I did? Believe it. Yeah, I went up for. I had to sit on a panel. 
It was a, a, le a lawyer, it so was a law school? Or maybe they had a law school division, or maybe they were just doing something for law, I forget, but it was in, uh, it was maybe outside, just outside of Walla Walla? Oh yeah, maybe Walla Walla College. No. There's three colleges there. I don't know. Anyway, I just remember going, this is where Jen's from. Oh, yeah. Nice. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, we have, <laughs> and then I thought of you. Oh, I don't remember you telling me that. Yes, I did. <laughs> you just Wait, forgot. I might have forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it was a while ago. It was oh, like okay. three, year, three years ago. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, like, it was a very, it wasn't as sleepy as you're depicting it. So yeah. I'm sure, yeah, it's, it has no, like. there's a lot going on now. Yeah. There's a lot of wineries and new yeah, restaurants yeah. and artists, yeah. and it's pretty cool. Yeah. But it's still a small town, and yeah. it's still it's very. still one main street. <laughs> kind. It felt kind. It is pretty kind. Which is probably why you're kind. Oh, thanks. There's a Midwestern feel too. How do you come up with your routines? It's Midwestern. How do you come up with your routines, uh, Jen? My routines. Well, dating. <laughs> dating is a rich, plentiful field of jokes. Um, I <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, I take the things that uh, I've that have maybe I've pondered over my life or recently or things that have happened to me, and I and I try to think about what. Um, what's kind of universal about them because you know that most people can relate to even if it's a story that hasn't happened to you exactly you can relate to somebody going through some kind of mm -hmm. that emotion you know whether it's embarrassment or or being scared or being rejected like everybody's had those basic feelings before so if you can kind of take your story and then bring the people in with you is there like a um you sort of a outline that you create or is there like a system that you follow to kind of sort you know get into the nut of it all yeah or, what, how does that work I mean what do you do um well I mean take, take I don't know how to describe it really yeah there's a couple different things that I do but I like to just uh write out kind of not in joke form you know everything that I thought because I kind of think jokingly anyway so yes, you, do. you know I'll take the idea yeah. and then I'll be like kind of expand on that one idea. So you and a write lot of a whole bunch like, of things down and then just sort of... Yeah. And a lot of the like, metaphors, I mean, are always fun. Yeah. You know, because you can explore the metaphor like, and then, like, like, the joke is actually the metaphor. It's like, I was, you know, shopping colonial times and, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> For example. Check into my comedy guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> But I mean, uh, I, I get it. I mean, I, I guess some of it comes from your improv background too, yeah. right? I, I mean, mean it, it, pain, you know, pain is, pain is funny. Hilarious. So funny. <sighs> we have all got some. We've all had some of the past, at least. Maybe. Yeah, no. Yeah, none yeah. of us escape it. None of us escape it. And which is probably why people like to laugh at it, because, you, you know, if you're not, as they say, if you're not laughing, you're crying. Right. Well, so. I think it's kind of part of why true crime is so popular, too. It's like... You know, it's intense and it could happen to me. Yeah, it could happen to me. And like, oh, you know, I don't know. It's sort of universal, a universal fear, a universal intrigue. Intrigue. Yeah. Intrigue. Intrigue. Yeah. intrigue. Yeah, true crime. You know, it's weird though because true crime is almost like watching the car wreck when you go by. Yes. You know, it's like we yeah. all have yeah, to yeah. watch the car wreck. Yeah, you don't want to. Why like, are we are doing that? Watching this car you know, oh, and is there somebody, oh, wait, there's a, yeah. there's a, there's a gurney out there. Yeah, but it, it's, again, yeah. it's that writing that line, you don't want to hear too much. I don't want to yeah. know everything. No, you don't want to see the actual uh -uh. devastation. Uh -uh. I just want to see the flames <laughs> and then hope everybody's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and make it to my audition on the west side on time. Uh -huh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a whole, that's, that's a whole other thing, <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, and so tell us a little bit about what, what goes into uh, the groundlings doing, doing improv as opposed to doing stand out comedy. Yeah. And then you did Second City too. Mm hmm Yeah. And then something else? I.O. West. R.I.P. I.O. West. It's gone. But yes. Yeah. It's another place. Well, most, of, most people, you guys perform. probably know Second City. Mm hmm Yeah. Groundlings. And what did you do? What did you do with Second City? Um, I worked on their cruise ships. They called it Shipco. Do they own a cru cruise ship? No, they do not. Oh. And I don't think they do it anymore. Sorry, Second City. But uh, <laughs> it was five months on a ship in the Caribbean, and we got to do like these archive sketches, like written by 
Team Colbert, Colbert yeah. and Corral, and like, oh my gosh, all these incredible people. So they were just like, we do this sketches in front of like 2,000 people and it just brought down the house every time because they were perfected. Just perfected. Yeah. Um, it was great. What a treat. So how did they go about it? Like, they put a Second City team together and then put you on the boat and yeah. then you... We went to Chicago and rehearsed a little bit and yeah. then they put us on the boat. That's fun. Together, just five of us for five months. No. Yes. Wait a minute, what? Yeah. It was wonderful. But you were on a cruise ship. <laughs> I know. Weren't there other people on the cruise ship? Nope. <laughs> no, yeah, there were. <laughs> <laughs> it was a reality show that never uh, took off. Um, no, it was. <laughs> no, there are other people on there. And the last cruise was the longest. It was two weeks long, and they call it they call it something like the death cruise or something because the only people that can take off two weeks are older people. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, it was intense. And they also did not like our sketches because they're like email. I don't get What's it. An email? I don't, yeah. I'm like, yeah, all the jokes were uh, not for them. So it was kind of a, like a, we were like, ah, and then we went out like, <laughs> we were just wow. like, okay, bye. Oh, that's a bummer. Thank you. It was, it was like, it you was already, you already had your laughs. <laughs> I already had my fill of the laughs. So they just gave you like your own bunk and you just got all the food and drink you wanted and. Um, something like that. You no? Know? Close to that, yeah. I mean, we shared a bunk. Yeah. We had to rotate the one room that had a, a window. <laughs> it was, it was. You know, it was an experience to be yeah. had. Some people stayed on there forever. People like stayed on there, got engaged to other people on there. Like really? it was, yeah, it's a culture. Yeah. And then other people moved on to be famous. Like my friend Sam Richardson, hi, he's on beat. Oh cool. Yeah. yeah. Who does he play? Um, I don't know. I was, <sighs> but he's very uh, good. He's very good. <laughs> I have seen him. On other things, he's, he's really very, good very good. Before. <laughs> no, we don't know what else he's good at. But that's what <laughs> Sorry. Well, you um, know, you never know who's gonna be watching and yeah. what the experience is gonna bring. And anyway, we all do it. We all do what we do just to because, of course, we love it. Yeah. But you know, somewhere in the back of your mind, you're like, I'd like a paycheck. Yeah, but I mean, just just to keep going on with yeah, the, yeah, the addiction. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. The pursuit. It's such an addiction. Yeah, I mean, but I. But it's I such find... a high when you get it. You know, it's kind of yeah. like Vegas. It's like you're like, I'm out of here. I keep losing, and then and then you like hit the penny slot. You're like, whoa, look at all these quarters. I'm gonna yeah. stay for another five hours. At least I'm drinking for free. At least I'm drinking for free. <laughs> Back to dating. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm just kidding. I'm no, joking. you're not. I'm joking. No, come on. No, 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 no. It's all universal. No, no, it's all universal. I mean, yeah, we right. all get it. <laughs> it's one of the only ways I made it through New York when I was young, because I moved there when I was 18. Oh, dating. Dating people who could pay for things. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, That's I, a I whole hate to say it. It's really of, awful. Of life. Oh, no, yeah, your phone just died. It's okay. Oh. Her phone just died. Sorry. <laughs> And, and I told her, come with your phone charge. Did you say that? I might have forgot. But I said, well. I, never mind. Right. Right. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs> and yes. So, now the other thing that I thought was interesting that I did not know about you mm -hmm. is that you volunteer. Oh, yes. For Art of Elysium. They're amazing. Art of Elysium. Amazing. They bring... And what did it, what, what is the, what It's happened? just like bringing art to uh, like underprivileged children or like senior citizens, homeless people, uh, I think they're doing stuff with vets, like it's every, it's a lot of, it spans a lot of um, really awesome programs, but I generally do uh, improv for Kaiser for kids that are in the hospital and they're just like their whole day is just sort of waiting for tests, so or, or you know whatever and we come in and we just play with them for a while I've um, my friend Amy does the, the arts department so we do like crafts with senior citizens or like paint that's faces good. of kids that are like outpatients and are you painting other faces I paint yeah, other yeah, faces. yeah that's fun <laughs> yeah that's it's, cute it's really fun um, we do like hair, hair for prom for special needs girls that are like uh, it's just always really fun and yeah. it's such a good group of people that, that volunteer for them that it's like it's always a treat so what is it? How do they do? They just say, "Hey, to this week we need you over at." Yeah, they all have different kind of projects 
for the month, and they sort of send out a roster of what they mm. have available, and then you sign you up. You sign and, up. Yeah. All right, that's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. It's really cool. Art is an amazing thing. I mean, they've shown it to help people with Alzheimer's. Oh, yeah. I just had this really cool program where they were taking uh, Alzheimer's patients to museums, and these were people that were almost nonverbal, like they couldn't really express their thoughts. But they took them into the museum, and then they said, well, what does, you know, what do you think of this painting? And they started talking yeah. in full sentences about how the painting affected them. Yes, it's amazing. Uh, there's another thing with the Alzheimer's, the music, when they play music for them, yeah. they completely light up, especially if yeah. it's stuff from their youth. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like, it's yep. night and day. It's and beautiful. You know, Parkinson's patients, Parkinson's patients, this is another report I saw, actually remember their dances so if they start the music oh, the wow. parkinson's goes away the tremors stop as long as they're dancing and they'll just start doing the dance and if they have somebody else who's I doing the dance that. they'll just start doing the dance the minute the music stops and they stop dancing the shakes and everything come back but there's something transformative about art it I just believe is that. i believe that yeah they have a music program too it's it's i think it's so important for I mean, we are born with a rhythm, right? Or the, our mother's yeah. heartbeat and the blood pumping. Like, we all have that sense, and we need to connect to that to stay alive, to stay, you know, vibrant. I love it. I love art. Let's keep it around. No, let's please. Let's please keep, keep it around. It around. <laughs> we need the Medici's to come back and yes, we do. finance yes. us, all of us, so we yeah, can do Medici's, what we do. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> dead. I, yeah, oh. they're probably all dead, but oh well. <laughs> But um, but I, it was leading to something. Art. Oh, I forgot now. I had something really important I was gonna say. And Music and yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Ooh. It's so gone. <laughs> Damn it! More art. Damn it! We need more art. <laughs> uh, we do need more art, art though. <laughs> I mean, even when I was in school, they were starting to nobody, you know, just people yeah. stopped caring. And, um, you're an amazing artist. Oh, I wouldn't say amazing. I think you're great. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But My it, opinion counts. It, well, your opinion counts to me. <laughs> Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. I'm a good judge. So we are wrapping up. We are nearing our 6.30 end time. Okay. Can you let people know where to find you? Oh, you if they want to find you? Uh, you can She's find very, me on IMDb, find Jen Winters. You can find me uh, as Jennifer Winters on Facebook, and I'm not on there very often, but also Cowgirl6 on Instagram. And I have a Twitter handle, but I don't do it much, and I don't know what the handle is. But I will get back to you. If you DM me on Instagram, I'll yeah. I'll or you or Todd, Todd will find it for you, and he'll, put, he'll post it up. Oh, wow. Man Behind the That's Camera so is cool. going to take care of that. And, Thanks, um, man. Uh, you know, it's funny because I stopped doing Twitter. I thought I stopped doing Twitter a long time ago. And then I went back because the guy who's helping me with social media on Crazy Bitches was like, yeah, you know, Facebook, Instagram, yeah. and Twitter. I'm like, Twitter? Really? I know. I and then I went back. I'm like, I guess I just stopped in 2018. So I really didn't <laughs> stop that long ago. But I'm like, I didn't know. Like, okay. I have the Twitter and I've made some posts, but apparently they don't go out. They don't. Like, I have it on, like, <laughs> private so it's basically a note pad uh yeah that's i gotta fix it you gotta fix that that's kind of stupid sorry it's kind of dumb a little bit um okay from walla walla. yeah you're from walla walla it's not your fault it's okay it's okay i love you walla walla you're from walla walla um so i just want to mention a couple things one uh i am raffling off tickets to go see the screening and go to the party of crazy bitches which is Saturday, this coming Saturday at 10.30 a.m. So the screen's at 10.30, the party is immediately following down the street, and I'm raffling tickets off for $5 each, and I'm doing it because, partly because it'd be fun to have you and a friend there, and partly because it's very expensive to release something, and normally you would have uh, a distributor releasing it, and they would take on the costs and stuff, they do, the, uh, the Medici's, Medici, whichever you say it, and um, but I don't have that, so I'm doing it myself. So I'm trying to offset the cost a little bit. Uh, so if you are local and you want to come to the screening, which is going to be really fun, all our actors are going to be there, plus Candace Kane, and I forget who else, a couple of extra people. 
Um, Jen's going to be there. You'll get to meet her in person if you want to come. <laughs> and uh, But the whole cast, except for Je Jessica Graham and Johnny Creo, everybody else oh, will be cool. there. And it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be a ton of fun. And this is one of the few times you'll ever get to see this on a big screen. So if you want to support me and you want to support the project and you want to see the project, uh, you can go to the event page that's on um, the site. You can go to... Uh, Oh shoot, Todd. <laughs> okay, I'll post. I'll need? post where to go we'll on the on 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 this chain on the post uh, when I get out of the tub. But um, <laughs> but please Bob please you. come and help me if you can. And uh, I'm excited to see one or two of you there. Um, and and we release August 16th. So we go wide August 16th, That's and exciting. we'll need everybody to jump on and buy so we can drive the iTunes page and we're going to need people to go on and do reviews so I'll be in touch with everybody and let you know about that but the more you can do to help me get the word out and the more you can do to help make sure that people understand this is a fun show the better off we are all going to be and then I will hopefully be able to make season three and four yes. and Jen will have a job yes <laughs> do it for Jen do it for Jen if nobody else so I love you guys I adore you guys Thank you for joining me, Jen. Bye. Thanks for having me. That was fun. I will see you guys next week. I don't know who my guest is, so Mystery. stand Mystery, by. Yes.